This will not be a typical animal documentary. We're looking for one of the smallest and most interesting animals in the Caribbean Sea, the pistol shrimp, one of the loudest animals on Earth. Bam, bam, yee-haw! It can shoot. In the Caribbean, this tiny animal is primarily responsible for the permanent background noise. How's it going? Hey, okay. How nice do you do? Oh. Hello, nice to nice meet you. Yes. This is actually the uh, pistol shrimp. You can see here basically it's modified claw. This is a bigger picture of it. They actually did some research on it. And the amazing thing is that this claw is capable of producing an air bubble that is so loud that it reaches the temperature of the sun real quickly and it actually can stun animals for six feet away. So this is also how it's defending itself and how it kills other animals. A good place to look for them also is on the north side of Kleinmoner because there's a lot of dead coral there due to a storm a few years ago. So you will find definitely you will find them here. But you have to die from a boat that would be nice. Using our newly designed and highly sensitive directional hydrophone, we want to find an acoustically interesting spot and, of course, check if there are pistol shrimp around. The most obvious difficulties we have to deal with are self-made. Up to five divers in the water with open breathing systems make a lot of noise. This makes high quality audio recordings almost impossible. Therefore, we decided to attach the surround rig to the ground with weights. In the meantime, we split up to make video recordings in the area and find the pistol shrimp with our hydrophone equipped cameras. Of course, the cameramen were not allowed to breathe while filming. It was quite difficult to actually locate the pistol shrimp. They were literally everywhere and literally nowhere. Sag mal so viel tollen Ton, aber alles können wir nicht brauchen, brauchen wir eigentlich nicht, ne? Das was man so gut finden kann. Together with our captain Walter we looked for a better diving spot with a smaller shrimp population and a better chance to locate our shrimp. None of us had ever seen such a high concentration of fish before. The crackle of pistol shrimp was everywhere. Croakers and sea robins were singing and oinking constantly. The new spot seemed to have perfect conditions, but after one hour and some beautiful impressions, it started to rain so heavily that we couldn't hear our own voices. There was no use to search any longer, so we canceled the attempt, checked our equipment, and waited for better conditions. Avert, our local cameraman, finally had the idea to go with speedboats to a certain diving spot called Something Special. With two rips in shallow water and a sandy area, we might have better chances to locate the shrimp. The idea was to get close to the rift on the sandy side. 
That way, we wouldn't be irritated by sounds from behind. And the idea paid off. There was a strange cooing sound from the same direction where we could also locate shrimp. The source of the cooing was easily identified, a huge moray eel. And just centimeters next to it, a corkscrew anemone, the hiding place of pistol shrimp. We even saw the typical red and white antennas, since it seemed impossible to get a nice view of this shrimp during the daytime, we decided to place the rig close by and come back at night when our friend goes out to hunt. The variety of noise was particularly impressive at night when the whole reef crackles and pops. It really took a lot of patience until we found our shrimp. And then even more patience until we finally saw him in action. After discovering our pistol shrimp, we're all confident that the work has paid off. We were so deeply impressed by the new sound world we discovered that we swore to ourselves that this was just the beginning of a new passion, the sound of the oceans. 